Hey there, this is Angie Monko, life coach for intuitive women leaders. And today we're talking about the pleaser or the people pleaser, saboteur, the, the part of us that really wants love and connection. And we do this by pleasing others. We feel that it's a transaction. You know, if we, if we do more, we'll get more. And the thought we're talking about today is if I don't rescue people, who will? And this is a, a typical thought of the pleaser. And it's very, very true. It's a very common thought because I think of myself and how I have tried to rescue my mom, my husband, and others who I feel like I want to, I want them to stick around, right? It's, it's a fear-based response and it has us go against our own, we know on some level, our own judgment. Like I heard someone talking the other day about her kids and how, you know, she, you know, they're teens and she had no right to tell them what to do. Now you may disagree with that because they're still teenagers, but she'd raised them to be very sovereign and to trust their own inner wisdom. And so it's just a whole new way of looking at things. And if you've got some of this pleaser saboteur in you, it really shakes up your belief system when you start thinking, well, yeah, I'm supposed to rescue people. Again, if I don't, who will? It's, it's a deeply ingrained in the pleaser saboteur, but it's not healthy. And, and it will destroy connection with another because they're going to be thinking, you don't trust me. You don't trust me with my own life. And they'll be right. It is indeed how we feel about them. Is it not? So if you would like some support in looking at this, just getting real about it and doing something different, I'm here for you. Go to HarmonyHarbor.com, reach out to me, and join my upcoming free masterclass. I'm here to support you like you've never been before.